Preppers, tis I the Rumple one. Sun's out again. Hope it isn't in the lens. Can you see me okay? Maybe I should move. Anyway, I know I'm stalling. I really need to get to them chores. But well, I'm having fun. Hope you're having fun with me. And thanks again for watching, listening, and subscribing. Appreciate it. Hope you all, a few people have learned a few things. That makes me happy to hear. Today's topic is, uh, we can call it stuff and junk. We've been talking about, you know, using uh, credit cards, free money, get things on sale, and, you know, don't go out and buy a bunch of stuff and, and consider that prepping. That's not what prepping's all about. You should have a, a few questions to ask yourself about whether or not you should buy something. One thing is, is it a consumable? Meaning, you're going to use it up. Alpha strategy, John Pugsley. Toilet paper on sale, stock up. Food, you know, butter. Things that you can freeze, stock up. Rice, beans on sale, stock up. Another knife? You really, do you really need another knife? Think about it. It's real tempting. I know a few of my buddies out there, they, they like knives. One guy said, you can never have enough knives. Well, that, that's an individual choice, and I'm not saying that he's right and I'm wrong or I'm right. It's not about right or wrong. It's about what's best for you. I think you need to ask yourself a few questions. One question, are you duplicating? And if you already have an item that does that job, what's the reason you need another one? Okay, maybe you say you need two for backup. Well, if you got two, do you need three, four, or more? Think about it. Couldn't you, that money could be used for something else. I think one time I talked about in preps, you have to kind of go around like you're building a building. It's like laying bricks. You start here, and you lay the first course of bricks. And then you come back later, Lay the second course. Same thing in your preps. Do a little here in the food, water <coughs> area. Do something in the protection area, security, you know, guns, ammo. Maybe you do something over here in the bug out area, you know, for shelter and warmth. Just keep laying those course of bricks, one after the other. <coughs> But it's real easy to get things that you don't need. If you think about it, you've lived this long without something, what's the real reason you're buying it? Is it just because you want to? Maybe it makes your a, a job easier. For example, or maybe it's an improvement. Maybe you have a 16-inch chainsaw, but you need a 20 inch chainsaw. Cut bigger logs. More powerful. Get the job done in less time. Okay. That's, that's a good reason. You're upgrading, improving. But then again, maybe you could do something else with that money. It's up to you. I can't tell you what to do. You have to weigh it for yourself. I can tell you what scales I use and Right now, my uh, guiding philosophy is no duplication because I've got more than I need. I've got too much stuff. My friends know I've been selling stuff off because i got too much stuff. Put that money to use elsewhere into some preps and other things. So, no, I don't have a fancy iPod or iPhone. Don't really need one. I might get one because my cell phone plan comes up this year and I'm usually entitled to a free phone or they give me some money off. So we'll see what happens. But as far as uh, spending money in your preps, you decide what's best for you. But just look at all your options. You know, I think there was somebody that said they... Um, 
always are adding to the list. You know, you, you buy one thing. They, they made a list. It's a good idea. You make a list, you carry it with you. If anything on your list is on sale, and if you've got the funds, then you can buy it, cross it off the list. But it seems like every time they cross off one, they add one or two more. The <laughs> list seems to grow, it doesn't get shorter. But that's just, uh, that's just human nature. I mean, come on, we like fancy new things, I'll admit it. But as you can, if you've been watching my videos, you see, somebody said I'm a man of many hats, well, caps. I, I don't even know how many I have. I don't buy them. Usually if I go to a car race or some event that's given a, you know, free hats and t-shirts, I'll pick one up. But I don't need any more. But people send me caps, and I'll wear them. No, I'm not e-bagging. I'm not asking you to send me any caps. I know somebody will just to be funny. Probably put something funny on the front, and I'll wear it. But <laughs> his life's just too funny, though. So, and the thing is, all these caps, they take up a lot of space. You need to get rid of them. See, that's part of the thing I'm doing out here at my rural location is I want to clean up the junk. Some of it's just trash. I've already gone to the dump three times in the past couple weeks. I've gone to the recyclers today. Got a bunch of old magazines ain't going to use anymore. See, that's another thing. We get stuff and we hold on to it. Why? I mean, come on now. Look under your bed. Look in the closet. Look out in your garage. Look in the attic. I know you're holding on to stuff. Why? Sentimental reasons? Okay. Somebody gave it to you and you feel guilty if you got rid of it? A lot of this, see, this stuff is starting to own you. As opposed to you owning the stuff. Because if, if you own the stuff, then you can do with it as you please. But if that stuff's telling you, oh, no, no, don't get rid of me. And you, and you listen to that stuff. Not that I hear voices. Don't get me wrong, I'm making a joke. <laughs> Uh, life's too funny because people take what you say literally sometimes and they'll just spin it into all kinds of foolishness. <laughs> but, uh, you know what, I don't care really. You know, what somebody else thinks, that's their business. I got enough my own problems to think about. Anyway, back to it. Stuff. Junk. Got to get rid of it. Because it's just, it, it just takes, takes up space. And then maybe if, like if you've got it on shelves in your house, then you got to dust it off and all that kind of nonsense. Not saying don't have anything, but I've been reading a couple of websites. One's theminimalist.com and the other one is zenhabits.com. And they talk about getting rid of stuff. And one guy had the uh, 100 thing challenge where you only get to have 100, 100 or less personal items. <laughs> That's really tough. Really tough. But it's only tough because I make it tough. But I got some friends out here. They don't really have that much stuff in the way of personal items, but they got a nice gardens and lots of preps for building more greenhouses and making compost and things like that. So anyway, I know I'm rambling, but I'm old, so I get to ramble. But you don't have to listen to me. You can hit the stop button or X out of the video. So the thing about the stuff is, is that you don't let it run your life. you got to run it. So, and with your preparations, it's the same thing. You know, back to the main point. Just be mindful. Think about, think things through the whole way. Okay? Uh, don't get caught up. Don't be a sucker because you saw it on a YouTube video or a review or you saw it on TV or in the store. Even if it goes on sale, doesn't mean you have to buy it. You know, sometimes that sale is just enough to push you over the edge. You've been looking at something, thinking about it, and it's just like, eh. But, you know, it, deep down inside, you know you want it. You know you do. You know you don't need it, and that's why you haven't bought it. But it goes on sale, five, ten bucks off, 20% off, 50% off, and it pushes you over. And you get this thing, this stuff, more stuff. <laughs> do you use it? I mean, I got a really nice camera. Haven't used it in over a decade. Canon AE1 program. Got the zoom lens and everything. Use it when I used to go to IndyCar races, Indianapolis 500, and take pictures. 
got some good pictures, but the thing about it is I have to carry that big old camera bag. And ever since 911, you know what it's like. You go to any big event, they want to pat you down. You got to frisk you and look in your bag. It's just a hassle. So like this little camera that I take these videos with, little cyber shot, fits in my pocket. Okay, I'm rambling again. Anyway, just be mindful of your stuff. It's your stuff. Do as you wish, but just think about it, and maybe you'll get rid of some of it. Maybe you won't buy any more of it. But there is some stuff you have to buy to prepare, because if you fail to prepare today, you're preparing to fail tomorrow.